Since the creation of computers and computer science, we have been obsessed with the notion of creating machines that can think. Defining intelligence can be hard, but when I'm pressed to do that, I always go by the definition given to us by Alan Turing. In 1950s, he defined it as an imitation game called the Turing test. The test is simple yet elegant. We keep a blind observer and let it communicate with a computer and a machine. If it cannot distinguish between the two, the machine is deemed intelligent. This definition has some very interesting aspects. Particularly fascinating to me is the fact that you need two humans and the outcome of the Turing test may vary based on which humans you pick. Another interesting thing is that the machine is ultimately trying to pass itself as human, which is somewhat deceptive. Maybe more thought needs to be put into a better definition. While a purely rational AI might concern itself with just winning in all tasks, being human requires more than simply outthinking your opponent. Sometimes you want to collaborate and empathize. Maybe true intelligence definition should include both the rational aspects of IQ and the emotional aspects in EQ. In line with this thought, in 2014, when I was working on my PhD, I started building my own artificial intelligence to recognize human emotions. We were building AIs based on neural networks to detect human expressions from videos. Apart from making user friendly, this is a very important task. Since in a Turing test, the blind observer might test the emotional intelligence of the machine and could use this to detect the machine from the human. To accomplish this, I built a neural network which could operate on video data. The network would take chunks of videos as input and predict the facial expression. The neural network contained simulated neurons which would simulate behavior similar to human brains to process the video data and predict the expression. Designing of this neural network was not an easy task and required a lot of trial and error. The first working prototype took me months and contained millions of interconnected neurons. I would try to arrange neurons in a way and it wouldn't work. And suddenly another configuration would work really well. As I was trying these different configurations to give my neural network more intelligence, a thought dawned on me. If I'm truly trying to automate human intelligence, it should be able to do anything, including this task of engineering of this AI itself. When this idea came, it seemed almost ridiculous and perplexing. What does it even mean for an AI to engineer itself? This just doesn't seem to be possible on the face of it. Shouldn't we leave these kind of things for humans? If AIs can start engineering themselves, what will be left for us to do? It seems so far-fetched that most of my colleagues deemed it not possible. The conceptual hurdle that we faced was the following. AI itself is a meta-concept. When we are trying to automate human intelligence, you have to look at it from a third-person perspective. To automate the task of automation itself adds another layer of abstraction to something which is inherently abstract. Because it was so far-fetched, I decided to rephrase the question. In order for an AI to create itself, it needs to learn its own language. But how do we define the language of an AI? For modern AIs, it means neurons and their interconnections. In my research, I have found that you could group the neurons into specific layers and connect them to each other. There were rules to arranging the neurons in these layers. We could only organize them in certain ways. Just like any other human language, they had these semantic rules that governed the way the layers were connected to each other. As a next step, I decided to write down these rules in the form of a grammar called context-free grammar. This was a very powerful notion. We had codified something very fundamental, a language rules which built together neural networks. A sentence written in this language represented a neural network model. We incorporated this into our first meta AI system, which learned the language model, generated these sentences representing the neural connections. The system was then used to generate and train artificially intelligent neural networks. We started trying a few of these neural networks and they did reasonably well. However, they are potentially infinite combinations. Some networks did well, others did rather poorly. Learning the language model itself was not enough. AI system needed to produce models which did better than most. Here was the final breakthrough. Whenever a model was generated, we stored it in the memory. And then the accuracy of that model 
was used to adjust our Meta AI system. In other words, the input of the Meta AI system was the output of the second AI system, and the output of the second AI system was the input of the first. To test our meta artificial intelligence system, we decided to take modern tasks such as character recognition and object recognition. We started by randomly generating artificial neural networks using the language model and used the accuracy of these models to slowly improve our meta AI system. As the time passed, we got better at generating the neural networks that would perform well. This proved that the system was learning meaningful things about the language of AI. To our surprise, the neural network models our system generated did better than the human versions generated from countless years of research. While we never aimed to beat humans, it was rewarding to see an AI perform so well at generating other AIs that it could beat humans. Like any good research, this work led to a lot of changes in the way we do things in the AI world. Before our meta AI, good performing machine learning models were difficult, required a lot of work, People had started copywriting these models and they were considered to be the magical things. Organization and people had started putting their names on the models, just like in chemistry with the chemical elements. Development of Meta AI shifted and gave power to generate AI systems in the hand of regular people. You don't need to rely on the models to be copyrighted by someone else. You could use our system and create your own AI for your own needs.